Well, she's an Academy Award-winning actress and a best-selling author. It really doesn't get much better than that. And Shirley MacLaine's new book is called Saging While Aging. She's here with me now. Thank you so much for coming and joining us. I really it's appreciate my it. pleasure, Tony. Thank you. Tell me what the title of the book means. Well, saging means hoping to gain wisdom as I grow older. But I was also thinking earlier today, you know the old Indian shamanistic tradition when you've got bad energy in your room, you want to sage it, you know? I think maybe that's good that you try when you're older to sage all the things that have maybe been negative or, or controversial or whatever. Well, there are a lot of things in this book that people are already talking about, but one of them obviously was uh, a passage about Dennis Kucinich yeah. saying that he saw a UFO and it came up in the Democratic debate last week. He answered that question. Were you satisfied with his answer when Tim Russert asked? I thought it was very brave of him, although he's the only candidate telling the truth. So why should it be brave to tell the truth, honestly? In this country, we should have more of it. But I thought it was very well done. <clears throat> Liked his humor after he said it, that he was moving his campaign headquarters to Roswell. Uh, he did say it's unidentified. In my opinion, it's identified. Now, if people would have read a little further into the book, they would see that Dennis Kucinich isn't the only politician who's seen a UFO, or so you report to us, right? Uh, well, that's right. Jimmy Carter saw one, wrote about it. Uh, Reagan discussed it with people. Might have written about it, don't remember. But I remember uh, it coming up in the debate with Mondale. He talked about invasions from outer space. Uh, and Richardson, being the governor of New Mexico, has done a foreword to the book on Roswell mm -hmm. and also has participated in uh, many of the documentaries about UFOs that have been seen in New Mexico where he's the governor. You talk about other things in the book besides UFOs, obviously. A lot of experiences that people have as they get older. One of them, obviously, is the fear of death and confronting death. Yeah. Do you have any fear about death and are you at peace with it? I, I have the opposite uh, attitude about death. I'm sort of looking forward to see if some of the things I believe and, and stuff are real. <clears throat> I don't want a painful death. I'd like a, a very smooth crossing, let's put it that way. But I'm not at all a trepidatious or a, or um, reluctant to see what's on the other side. I don't feel I will be alone and it's a big black void or I'm going to hell or monsters will get me, none of that. Is there a heaven? Do you believe there's a heaven? You know, the stuff I wrote about in the book that Dr. Michael Newton's research seems to indicate, a lot of the patients that he had, he, many psychiatrists access past life experience. He seems to have, with his many, many thousands of patients, access life between lives. So yes, that's what I guess you would call as a place, uh, heaven. And he has <clears throat> talked about, and they all say the same thing. All of these patients who go into their regressed state go to this place. And they are, they find it non-judgmental, they find it teaching, they meet loved ones, they meet people they, uh, wish they'd see again, animals, etc. And I thank you so much for coming by. What's next for you? You doing a movie now? Are you working on any big projects? Yeah, I've got two movies I'm supposed to do in the spring. Now with the writer's strike, we'll see what happens. Can you tell us anything about them? or About the movies? Yeah, yeah but I'm not going to use this time to do that. We'll okay. talk about that some other time. <laughs> so while we're looking forward to them, we can't <laughs> wait to see you on the screen again. And the book is called Saging While Aging. Thanks, thank Tony, you very so much. much. Terrific. Thank you. Thank you.